Greetings fellow mathematicians. Today we are going to work on the target I can subtract accurately. Remember accurately means correctly. There are lots of different ways that you can help yourself subtract accurately. We have lots of different strategies that we can use to come up with the correct answer. Today we are going to go over five of those strategies and hopefully you can find one that seems right for you. Let's start with this problem. 9 minus 7, or 9 take away 7. The first strategy that we are going to use to subtract accurately is using manipulatives. And manipulatives are just objects that you can move around. When you're doing subtraction with manipulatives, you want to think about what number we begin with. We're starting with 9, and we are going to take away 7. So when you are subtracting, you have to start with the whole, the bigger number. In this case, the bigger number is 9. So we're going to begin with that. I'm going to use these lovely gems today as my manipulatives. I'm going to start with 9 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 gems. Now I'm going to take away 7 of them because that's the bottom number here. So I'm going to pick 7 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. When I take away the 7 gems, I'm left with how many? 1, 2. So my difference, or my answer to my subtraction problem is 2. 9 take away 7 is 2. And remember, we can always check our work by adding backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yep, that's how many we started with. So I know my answer is correct. Let's do 7 take away 4. Well, remember when we're subtracting, we start with the whole, the greatest number, the number that's on top. So that would be the number 7. Begin with 7 manipulatives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's what we begin with. And now we're going to pick up four. One, two, three, four. I've taken away these four, and now what do I have left? One, two, three. I have three left, so three is my difference. And then I can check my work just to make sure, adding backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seven is what we started with. Let's try a new strategy. This time, instead of using manipulatives, let's use a picture. Six, take away two. Just like when we were doing manipulatives, you have to start with the whole, the number on the top, the biggest one. So this time, the whole is six. Instead of putting up six manipulatives, I'm going to draw a picture. I like to use circles because they're nice and quick. So I'm going to put up six circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm starting with six, and now I'm going to take away two. To take them away, I'm just going to cross them off. One, two. So how many circles are left? One, two, three, four. So the difference, or my answer, is four. And then check your work. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six is what we started with. Let's try another one. This time, Let's do 10 take away 6. Just as in the other problems, start with the whole. The whole, or the greatest number on top, was 10. So how many circles am I going to draw? 10 is right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm starting with 10 circles. And now I'm going to take away 6. How do I take them away? I just cross them off. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now how many circles are left? One, two, three, four. So I know my difference is four. Let's check our work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, ten is what we started with, so I know my answer is accurate. So, so far we've used manipulatives, and then we used a picture. Now this time, let's use a number line. I'm going to draw a number line up here. And here we'll do 0, 
one. A number line is simply a, not, a line that has numbers in order. You could also use a hundreds chart to do this. Five, take away, four, using a number line. Just as in all the other problems we've done, we need to start with the top. The hole in this problem is five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my finger or my pencil on the number five on the number line right here, and I'm going to go backwards four, starting at the five, and then we don't count until we hop. One, two, three, four. Where did we end up? We ended up at one. So one is my difference. Check your work. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, five is where we began. So I know my answer is accurate. Let's try the number line strategy again. This time, let's do 15 take away three. So where do we begin? You got it, the number on the top. And in this problem, the number on the top or the whole thing is 15. So I'm going to start at 15 on my number line. I'm gonna put my pencil or my finger on 15. Then I'm gonna hop backwards three. Remember, don't start counting backwards until your first hop. So I put my pencil on 15 and then I hop. One, two, three. Where did I end up? At 12. So 12 is my difference. And just to be sure, let's double check our answer. We have 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, 15 is where we began. Our next strategy that we can use to subtract accurately is using touch math and counting backwards. So let's do eight, take away three. Where do you start? Of course, the number at the top. If we remember our touch points, we can use those to count backwards and subtract. So the number three has a touch point here, here, and here. So I'm gonna say the number on the top, eight, and then I'm gonna count backwards on each of my touch points on the bottom number, like this. Eight, seven, six, five. So my difference is five. And just to be sure we're right, let's use addition. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight is at the top, so we know that we are correct. This time, let's do seven, take away four. Where do I begin? You got it, the number at the top. So remember, we're going to use the touch points on the bottom number to help us count backwards. The touch points on a four are here, 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 and here. So I say the top number, seven, and now I count backwards. Six, five, four, three. So three is my difference. Double check it with addition. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is where we began, so I know I'm correct. Let's try 11, take away seven. Remember, we start with the top number. And then we think about the touch points for the number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I say 11, and then I count backwards. Here we go. 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. So my difference is four. And just to be sure we're accurate, use addition. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven is where we started, so I know I'm correct. And just so you remember, let's review the touch points. Remember, zero has no touch points because zero is nothing. One, right there. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The last strategy we're going to try today is counting up. When you count up, 
you start with the smaller number. Now this is a little bit different than what we've been practicing before. On all of our other strategies, we've always started with the top number, the whole. This time you're going to start with the part. And in this case, the part is 6. We're going to put 6 in our head, or touch the number 6, and we're going to count up to 9. So this is what we do. 6, 7, 8, 9. How many did I need to count up? 1, 2, 3. So 3 is my difference. Don't forget to check using addition. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 is the top, the whole number, so I know that I am correct. Let's try 12, take away 8. Now remember, when you count up, you start at the part, the smaller number. And the smaller number on the bottom is 8. So I start with 8. 8, and then I count up to 12. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many did I have to count up? 1, 2, 3, 4. So my difference is 4. And let's add them up. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 is where we started, or is the whole number, so I know I'm right. We've used five subtraction strategies today to help you subtract accurately. The first one we used were manipulatives. Remember, manipulatives are objects that you can move. We also practice drawing pictures and then crossing off the ones that we take away. Number lines or hundreds charts can also be useful. Remember, we hop backwards. We also use the touch points on our numbers to count backwards. And finally, we use the strategy counting up. 